Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. But you know, corruption is a very strong thing. Corruption is a very strong thing. Money is talking. Because with this statement I am reading to you now, it means that the only thing this man went to Nigeria to do is to give them legal guidance, advice on how to evade being prosecuted by the International Criminal Court. But you know what? You have a role to play. And that role is that let us go to Twitter. As we are embarking on the underground work to counter this particular thing, let us first of all go to Twitter and let it rain it on them. Let us rain it on them. I have actually tweeted, you know, called them several, some of the several tweets we have made. You go to the Twitter, to my Twitter handle, it is there. We've called them to look into why did they ignore mentioning the genocide happening in Biafra land? What, what, what was the reason for that? Now, let us continue. Particularly in relation to members of the Nigeria security forces. I have pledged in this regard to provide Nigeria judicial authority with the necessary technical assistance and the knowledge transfer within the available means of my office. As I have repeatedly stated, the meaningful realization of the uh, vision set out in the statute can only be achieved by deepening cooperation and the finding and by finding common ground wherever possible. Even in difficult circumstances, I will therefore continue to look for ways and means to engage in dialogue to promote contemporary uh, contemporary whether at the current threshold where we stand or in the context of an open situation can you imagine prosecutor of the international criminal court is looking for ground is looking for ground for dialogue to promote the complementarity and whether at the current threshold or we stand on the contents of the open situation. But Mazin Namdikano is being tried. And the Malami, knowing fully well that in Nigeria constitution, as attorney general, he has that power. I mean, absolute power to discontinue the trial of Mazin Namdikano for public safety. But you know what? He don't want to do that. He don't want to do that. But the Nigeria Constitution gave the Malami right as Attorney General to discontinue the case against Mazin Amdikano for public interest. Now, he invited prosecutor of the ICC. And prosecutor is now even telling him about the dialogue. But this man who is a who is a Malami refused to discontinue case against Mazin Namdekano for public interest because he committed no crime. And do you people understand what I'm saying? Now we have furthermore agreed with Nigeria authorities on the next immediate step. To inform any future decision I will be making on the situation 
Sure. Can you imagine? He even agreed to inform Nigeria government on the future decision he will be making. I have proposed clear timeline in this respect and welcome my commitment to conclude a formal agreement with my office on these issues in the near future. To conclude a formal agreement on this issue in the near future. My people, these people are preparing to slaughter us. They are preparing to slaughter us. What agreement is this man talking about? With a government that their hands has been stained with blood of its citizens. And there is evidence of genocidal crime, ethnic cleansing, war crime, and crime against humanity committed and being committed every day. And this man is talking about agreement with his office. <laughs> I want our people to understand that this is the mess we are into and this is the mess we have to deal with. You see the reason why nothing has been from the ICC. I trust that this visit opened a new chapter of enhanced collaboration and cooperation between Nigeria and my office. <laughs> he is always talking Nigeria and my office, my office, my office, that will serve the interests of the victims of the alleged crime committed in Nigeria. This one and story and beyond. After over a decade of communication and exchange between my office and Nigeria authorities, we need to now move with urgency to deliver on our joint commitment to justice and translate this into concrete action. I want you to see the, the contact email to these people, Office of the Prosecutor, Contact Office, OTP News Desk at ICC slash CPI dot INT. We want every Bear France to begin to copy this particular information. And let us begin to write to these people. We know that, uh, uh, you know, we are going to write to condemn this particular visit and the press release coming from the office of the prosecutor of the ICC with heavy condemnation. When uh, in those days, if it is when media was uh, still in the, on the side of the people, this is a very good one. Because this is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. That you, when you're expecting a prosecutor to start prosecuting a government that have committed crime against humanity, he rather went there and begin to go into agreement and start to negotiate with the state and start proffering solution and giving them legal advice how to evade the system. This is sad. You see the reason why we are not going to hope on anything. That is why you see Afghanistan, the Taliban who are terrorists today, they have exonerated them from all crime. America is saying, denounce Al-Qaeda so we can recognize you. <laughs> denounce Al-Qaeda, we we'll recognize you. Do this and do that, we we'll recognize you. They left all the military equipment, weapons and all that in the hand of Taliban terrorists. They take over the government. Today, the UN Human Rights Committee exonerated Taliban from human rights abuses. The report was disheartening. They say they did not even indict the Taliban of anything. That is why this is our freedom in Nigeria. We must in them, they can you say, Biafra enemy. There are too much. Biafra have enemy. You do not know why Mazinam the Kanu say the last miracle on earth is Biafra. <laughs> if the, the Biafra is the last miracle on earth, 
Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. That thing is deep. Oh. If Biafra is going to be the last miracle on earth, which means if Biafra come 2023, it means that miracle have ended. I want you to, to look at this word. Oh. If Biafra come in 2024, what this word means is that after 2024, miracle have ended. So I want people to look at deep, to look deep into this world coming from our leader.